Hello, this is Olivia from Team 3486, Techno Warriors Advanced, and today we're going to be talking about the tree of parts you'll have when you assemble your entire robot. This is our 2014-2015 robot from Cascade Effect Sparky. So everyone meets Sparky. There's the entire Creo drawing. And what you see over here in the tree of parts is um, a bunch of assemblies primarily. Now if you had every single part on here individually listed and they weren't in assemblies, it would be very difficult to find things and it would just make it a lot harder to look through. So it's very important that you keep them in assemblies. Now not everything will fit in an assembly. For instance, if you look at our front bumper, it kind of stretches across two assemblies, so it's just in there by itself. But for the most part, everything is within something else. What you can also see is, you can see if things are constrained well. If you click over there, the ones with the little tiny square in the corner, like right there, that means that it's not constrained perfectly, so y it will help you in that way. Another thing you might notice, if you zoom in a little bit, you'll see that we don't have screws on everything. And if you put a screw every place you have a screw, then it's just going to slow down your system significantly because you'll have so many extra parts that aren't necessarily needed in the Creo drawing. But please include them on your real robot. So thank you for watching and